What's up, Snacks? This is Rias, the old eating cake, and I'm back here with something entirely different to what I usually do. I'm making a Call of Duty tier list. Why? I felt like it. I might do other tier lists. Uh, the next one I am considering is... Zombies maps in Call of Duty. This is probably about as much COD content you will get. But that's also not entirely true, I guess. I might do other COD content. No, I will definitely do other COD content. Because I am planning on playing, like, modded Black Ops 3 eventually. When my friends have gotten that game. But right now, I'm doing this instead. Uh, I'll be putting three... Uh, isn't there like a way to add uh, yeah add a row below oh damn okay I can change it there I changed that back uh Let's just put it to gray and didn't play, which is where I'll be putting you, you, there's one missing, I just noticed. Yeah, there's one missing. Well, anyways, uh, I don't know which two these are. Uh, I didn't play Call of Duty 1, 2, or 3. Never did. And my knowledge about them is, well, limited. Extremely limited, actually. I don't really know anything about them. I have seen some gameplay on YouTube, but not, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Which means that we'll instead jump into Call of Duty Modern... Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which was my first Call of Duty game back when I was, well, very, very young. I mostly have played the campaign on this, obviously, because I was young and dumb, mostly. Uh, and the campaign, of course, I love... How can you say that you do not like the original Modern Warfare campaign? It's so good, in my opinion. Like, even to this day, it's better than a lot of the campaigns. Hell, I'd, I'd rather replay this campaign over the Black Ops 6 campaign. Black Ops 6 evidently isn't here, but I also wouldn't be able to judge it since I haven't played a lot of it yet. I've played, like, through the campaign, about a handful of multiplayer matches, and I haven't even touched zombies in the new COD. Uh, this didn't have a third mode, did it? That didn't become a thing until World of War, right? At least I don't remember there being one. Multiplayer, my... Uh, my knowledge about the Modern Warfare, 4, uh, Modern Warfare multiplayer is also very limited, to be fair. Which is why this is hard to rank. I know a lot of people like it. What I did play of the multiplayer, I did like. But I was always a, like, team deathmatch person until Modern Warfare 2019 is where I, where I really started playing other game modes. I think I played a little other different game modes in Black Ops 3. But yeah, I was pretty much always a team deathmatch person. That's pretty much the only thing I touched. Almost exclusively touched multi team deathmatch. So I had fun on the multiplayer. I would probably rank the original. Wait, there's not an S tier? How can you not have an S tier? Uh, let's do that color S. <coughs> 
Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what got stuck, what happened with my throat there. Uh, B. It doesn't have a third game mode. The it it's it's very carried by a campaign in my opinion. Oh, actually A. It wasn't bad. It was actually very good. Uh, next one is World of War, which I was late with playing instead. I didn't pl really get to play a lot of World of War until, like, 2012 is when I played a lot of World of War. I have played through... The campaign is very good. I think it's worse than the Call of Duty 4 campaign, though. But Treyarch were still finding their feet back then. The multiplayer is pretty fun. I haven't played a lot of that either. I have, however, played a lot of World of War Zombies. And I mean, it is the game that introduced Call of Duty Zombies to us. So how could you possibly deny it being good? I think it deserves at least, like, high B. Like, either high B or low A. I'm not entirely sure. But I'll put it in B for now. I may change it later. Which takes us into the next game. Modern Warfare 2. Which I was also late with playing. <clears throat> I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 until 2011. Which, by then, finding a game, especially on PC, pretty much impossible the the campaign is very good <clears throat> ghost is overrated though uh but yeah damn it <clears throat> stupid throat stop having issues the multiplayer i am not a fan of I did not enjoy it. It's not because necessarily because of the OP stuff, because I didn't really get to experience that. But I... I don't know really what it is. I didn't play a lot of it, so it's hard for me to judge the multiplayer. The only like real multiplayer games I got to play were of people that... Act, like They really knew the game. They were like max prestige, 90%, like 99% of the players that I met on that game were max prestige and the other like 1% were complete noobs. There was no in between between those two things. So and then we have special ops in Modern Warfare 2 and I love special ops personally. And I'm still sad by the fact that they didn't really bring it back for any of the new timeline modern warfare they were like oh we're gonna bring it back but they didn't really the spec ops missions that they brought with them in like modern warfare 2019 personally i think they suck ass they don't need to be these convoluted story-based missions they just need to be stupid fun like running through the training ground in modern warfare 2 or running through a bridge with tons of enemies it doesn't need to be convoluted. I don't know why anybody working there thought that Spec Ops needed to be that. I think Spec Ops in 2019 sucks, especially compared to the old ones. Uh, but I personally, I'm going to have to rank Modern Warfare 2 C. It's not downright horrible, like, uh, or well, very bad or god awful. But I personally did not enjoy Modern Warfare 2. Which brings us to Black Ops 1, which I did play a lot of. I played it a lot over the years, actually. The multiplayer, I really like Black Ops 1 multiplayer. And wasn't it, it's also Black Ops 1 that introduced like gun game and stuff. With wager match, matches and stuff. Uh, so Black Ops 1, I really love. Of course, it also improved on Zombies. The campaign is amazing. Like, Black Ops 1 just goes into A. Above Modern Warfare as well. 
Black Ops 1 is an amazing game. It's not the best. Actually, is it? Nah. Nah, it's not S. I'm not even sure I will place anything in F. I don't I'm not sure I, I can place anything in S. But we'll see about that. I am after all reminiscing a little bit about this. But yeah, I loved ev pretty much everything about Black Ops 1 is so good. The campaign, the multiplayer, and zombies are all extremely good in Black Ops 1. And Modern Warfare 3 was like, it's one of my most played games still to this day. I got, in just like a year, I got 2,000 hours on MW3. It was pretty much the only thing I played in 2011. Uh, well, in 2011 and 2012, I guess. I loved this game. I would almost place it an S. Well, personally, it, it's an S for me. It's probably the only game I will play in, place an S, because it's my favorite card of all time. It just, it just is. I know a lot of people will look at me like I'm a, f a fucking weirdo for this. Because this is not the case, but I mean, at the end of the it's the end of the original Modern Warfare uh, trilogy, which the campaign is insane. You have to consider this. We deal with a lot of terrorism, like gas attacks all over Europe, and you end it by by rushing this hotel in juggernaut suits and the killing Makarov in an ins same way it's the campaign is easily one of the best ones we've had uh the multiplayer i really liked i that's where i spent two that's where i spent my two thousand hours i spent so much time on that multiplayer absolutely loved it i played mostly team deathmatch and infected. I was a god at infected in MW3. Throwing knives, I, I loved throwing knives. I was so good with throwing knives in MW3. I almost never missed one. Uh, I guess, oh yeah, I did play a lot of face off in MW3 too. Face off was really fun. And then we have the special ops missions, which I also spent a lot of time playing in MW3. Although, although I would say the special ops in MW3, while being overall updated in quality from Modern Warfare 2, it was at the same time some missions were just a bit too difficult, in my opinion, for something so goofy as that. And then we jump into Black Ops 2. Which I know a lot of people will have issues with where I'm placing this. I know that. Uh, I'll talk a little about it first. The campaign, I... It's both... Both has its ups and downs. I feel like some missions are very lackluster and some missions are very good. Multiple endings is always fun, and multiple, like, series of events that can happen depending on what you do throughout. Like, Black Ops 2 was the first card to do that, to have multiple endings. And it was really cool. The multiplayer, however, is something that I did not play a ton of. Uh, I did not really enjoy Black Ops 2 multiplayer, which will sound, again, like insanity to a lot of people I know. But that's that's just a fact for me. It I did not enjoy it. I don't know what it was, but it did not 
sorry, it did not click on me with me the same way Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer did. While I could have a blast on MW3 any day of the week, I, for some reason, something just felt off when playing Black Ops 2, and I, could quite, I, I couldn't quite get into the rhythm of it. I, and I, I don't know why. I honestly could not tell you what I did, what was wrong with Black Ops 2 multiplayer for me. Which again makes it hard, because with other games, I can like tell you why I didn't enjoy the multiplayer, but I genuinely don't know what was wrong with the Black Ops 2 multiplayer. It just did not click for me. That's really all I can say about it. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, zombies, however, well, it had its ups and downs. Black Ops 2 Zombies is also hard to rank because you have these, like, really good maps like Origins and Mob of the Dead that are easily S-tier when it comes to Zombies maps. But then you have, like, Transit and Die Rise. And I'm gonna put also Buried into that category. Not because Buried is necessarily bad, but because it is so goddamn easy to do well on. I've heard that it's very hard to get to, like, extremely high rounds on Buried. But to get to a decent round, easy as pie. Just get the Paralyzer, get v Vulture's Aids, and you're done. You can easily get to round 20 with that and then with the banking system of course just makes the game so goddamn easy uh, black ops 2 whoa what happened there it's also going there can i click off of that no click off of them thank you uh, yeah, it's above Modern Warfare 2. Well, does it go in B? Actually, I do enjoy the zombie. Like, Buried and Die Rise are weird for me. Uh, because Buried, I should really talk about this in uh, the zombies tier list video instead. But yeah, Buried... Buried and Die Rise are weird for me because as well as I hate them, I do enjoy them as well. They're kind of in the down the down in the middle of the road for me. Die Rise has a weird place in my heart because it has the SUAS. Uh, the SVU AS sniper, which I really love using in zombies. And Buried has the Peacemaker, that revolver. The 1980s revolver, whatever it is. Not 1980s. What am I talking about? Uh, wherever it is from. The 1800s fucking stupid revolver. It doesn't matter. I should go on to the next game, which is Ghosts. Which I also did play. The campaign... Simply because it did not not simply because it did not get a follow up when they teased us so hard with that ending. The campaign is trash. The campaign wasn't very good to begin with either. To be honest, it had like two or three interesting missions, and the rest are like, uh, meh, don't really care. The multiplayer, also bad. I did not like this multiplayer. I did not have the same issues with the Ghost multiplayer as I did with Black Ops 2, but I simply did not just, in, I just did not enjoy Ghost's multiplayer. It wasn't very fun. The maps were way too big. I feel like the weapons were not that great most of the time. It's 
just not very good. And then we have the alien mode that I can't remember the name of currently, and I don't care. Which was also, it was like their try at to make something new, something interesting, something just, something like zombies, but not like zombies at all at the same time. And it didn't, it just did not work very well. Putting that into D. I wouldn't put it, I won't put it into F because I don't believe it's straight up dog shit. Like you could have fun in ghosts. With friends at least. But I feel like even in some of these games you just couldn't have fun. Not even with friends. At least not in every mode. Like alien, the alien mode. No, actually, you know, I actually I do put it in F. Uh, next is Advanced Warfare. The first futuristic COD. Well, very futuristic. We already has, had semi-futuristic with Black Ops 2. Uh, but Advanced Warfare, the campaign is... Okay, I didn't play Advanced Warfare, but I was still heavily invested in it. So I do have some pretty strong opinions. The multiplayer is kind of hard to rank. First off, Advanced Warfare is the one that introduced supply drops to Call of Duty. That's like already a giant strike on it. Like, why? Why did you do that? It was also kind of stupid how... Two guns were pretty much the meta throughout the whole game. And yes, I am... Is it the ASM-1? And the BAL. Not only that, the it was like variants of them that you could only get in supply drops, of course, that were the meta. You couldn't just equip a normal one of those and go all out. That wouldn't work, obviously. <coughs> God damn, what is wrong with my throat today? I need to drink something. Uh. But the multiplayer is also hard to judge because it was the first futuristic card. So the so the movement was a bit weird. <laughs> Not that convenient in my opinion. There were so, a lot of pretty cool things about it. And then I remember the system hack. That's what it's called, right? That stupid... Uh... Kill streak or whatever it was. That just sucked. I don't know why that was a thing. Uh, overall, I'd probably have to play. Oh yeah, I haven't. I still haven't talked about some. Som their zombies was weird, and I don't know why these game. They are obviously so heavily inspired by the Treyarch games. But still, they insist on calling these things something entirely different. Like Juggernaut as being Exo Health. And uh, other stupid stuff like that. And they have a mystery box that's like a mystery printer or whatever. And it's just weird to see these. Like, we know what this, what this is. Why are you calling it something completely different? Just call it what it is. You're you're both you're both Call of Duty. Nobody will like complain about it. At least I wouldn't. And it's even more annoying when, for example, I jump ahead a little right now, Infinite Warfare, where they even use like pretty much the exact same emblem even for the, these perks. Well, first, at least some of these perks. And still decide to call it something different. Like, what? What You stole the emblem. Why are you going to call it something else? That doesn't make sense to me. We know why this exists. It's because that has that. 
Stop acting like you aren't copying that. Uh, but overall, it gets a D. I would probably put it in F. If, if like, Adventure Warfare was their, the second futuristic game, it would probably get an F. Simply because it would be a downgrade, most likely. But since it's their first futuristic game, and Sledgehammer's first Call of Duty game, by the way, I do give them a little bit of leniency. Like, it isn't completely fair for them, in my opinion. Now we get to Black Ops 3. Which also lands in S. These two games are S, in my opinion. The, these are the only two games that will land in S, by the way. Looking from the rest of the list. Like, what can... No... Actually, never mind. Bumping it down to A. Bumping it down to A because I just I just remembered the campaign. Oh my god, how could you make a campaign that is that bad? I honestly think the Vanguard campaign might be better than Black Ops 3's campaign. I don't know. I don't remember any of the called anything from the Call of Duty Vanguard campaign. But it's just forgettable, while Black Ops 3 is straight up horrible. There's like two connections to the rest of the Black Ops storyline. Like, you could probably make this not a Black Ops game. And justify it. Because it, it is that disconnected from the rest of the franchise. The only connection it has to, do to past Black Ops games is that it continues the Black Ops zombie story. Which I believe is the only reason why they're still making Black Ops games in general, is to continue the Black Ops zombie story. If it weren't for that, they probably would have killed that storyline forever ago. Uh, but the multiplayer, I did enjoy... Quite a lot, even though there are still loot boxes in that game, which I hate. Loot boxes. And they were also quite pay to win. Like, I, it took me so long to get my first weapon out of a box. And I played quite a lot of Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I played that shit almost every day. It's probably my second most, no, third most. There is another game that I probably played more of. But I did, I did sink in quite a lot into that game. And Zombies, like, what is not great about Zombies? It has, Black Ops 3 Zombies have some of the greatest maps of all time. Again. And then there's Modded. That automatically bumps that up. But I mean, like, Shadows of Evil, amazing. The Giant, a great remake. Uh, then we have, what is that, the next one? The Ryzen Rock, amazing. Setsubo no Shima, I, oh, I, I love Setsubo no Shima. I'm one of the people that really loved Setsubo no Shima. Which, by the way, I'm still confused about that thing. Because I can swear when that map released, every single person was going around jumping on the Setsubo no Shima hate bandwagon. Saying how absolutely dog shit that map is. And I swear, now every day, like, everyone is walking around like, Oh, Setsubo no Shima wasn't that bad. Like, I could swear every single one of you were say, telling me how bad that map was. Why, why, where did, what happened to all those people? They can't have disappeared. Especially since I know one person that hated the map simply because you had to use a gobblegum for the Easter egg. Which was a dog shit reason to hate it. Uh, no, stop it. Uh, after that, it's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the last futuristic COD. Which probably gets placed in C tier. Below Modern Warfare 2, though. 
No, actually, D tier. D tier. I D tier. Uh, because the campaign was pretty good, from what I've heard. I didn't play the, this game, like, all, almost anything. The, the multiplayer, trash. Absolutely trash. Don't know what they were thinking. Then we have... Uh... Then we have zombies, which I think they only really had one good map in Infinite War for Zombies, which is Zombies' is Baseland. But I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Infinite War for Zombies at all. I I liked I really liked the more serious story of the Black Ops ones, and Infinite Warfare Zombies just felt so incredibly goofy that I. I did personally not enjoy it. Uh, Call of Duty World War II, the campaign, I really do like the World War II campaign. The multiplayer has, well, it had a lot of issues. Because at the beginning of the multiplayer's lifeline, lifetime, uh, it was very bad. Extremely bad, actually. It just did not really work very well. There were a lot of issues that they did eventually fix. And from what I heard, it did eventually become a pretty good multiplayer. But that was eventually. So it does get a, a lot of bad points for that. And then we have World War II Zombies, which I can't say a lot about. Because I don't know a lot about World War II Zombies. I think they tried to do a good thing, and I think the first map is pretty good. It, it really tones in on that horror element, and it really delivers on that, in my opinion. Other maps, though, felt boring and bad from what I've seen. I know I have, like, been in play, but it's more like. Don't have enough info to judge it. Call of Duty World War II probably Yeah, probably there. Because I think no, actually no. No, let's do that. Like barely. These two are pretty much the same. For me. Now, Black Ops 4. Oh my god, what, how I hate Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, well, first off, it didn't have a campaign. At least not a real one. It had those, like, side missions you could play, and it did give you some story. But those missions were so boring that it was not worth it. Then we have the multiplayer, which sucked. Oh my god, what a horrible multiplayer. Uh, the the specialists were just overall way worse than the Black Ops 3 version. Hell, they were even worse than the Infinite Warfare version of specialists, which I didn't think was possible. But Black Ops 4 specialist sucks. And then they went with that, like, Oh, people only played one specialist, so in this one, only one person per team can play one specialist. And then they had that health increase, so that it will be a slower TTK to like make it a more competitive game, and that sucked. I don't know what they were thinking with that. I really, really don't. But the specialists were so bad. We had the really campy, that Irish guy with the stupid wall and barbed wire. Why? Why was that guy a thing? Ole of course they have to want to cater to the campers. But also the whole thing of making it so that only one person can play one specialist. That's a band-aid fix. You did not fix the core issue of why that happened. 
people did not play only one specialist for most of Black Ops 3 because they, like, decided to. They played it because that was the one that was the strongest. And there were still the strongest one in Black Ops 4. It was still the Purifier guy. Right? And then they still kept Gravity Spikes. Why? Why did you keep the Gravity Spikes guy? Who thought that was a good idea? I guess they still gotta cater to the noobs. Uh, but guns... Like, gun balance was so fu Oh my god, it was so horrible. Like, I remember some guns were just straight up not viable on and until you locked up their, like, Mod, because every gun had a weapon mod. I believe there was a sniper called the Outlaw. Not, I believe, I don't remember. But that sniper alone was, was one of the reasons I rage quit, because I was trying to use it, and I realized that killing somebody with it, uh, without the mod, was pretty much not possible. Because it was like a, fr you needed like two, uh, like three shots to kill, and it was very, very slow firing. Of course, the mod fixes that because you shoot like three bullets at the same time, so you can one shot someone. But what, what a horrible thing! Then we also have their monetization system. They had a battle pass, loot, uh, loot boxes. And the Season Pass, which, by the way, you couldn't buy a DLC pack separately for Black Ops 4. You had to buy the Black Ops Pass. Like, Black Ops 4 was literally their greediest game ever. And then we have... Uh, that's my, like, all my complaints about multiplayer, which, by the way, I absolutely... Despise Black Ops 4. Uh, zombies. Again, like, why do you keep making these weird... They need these weird-ass changes that nobody ever asked about. Black Ops 4 just sucks. It launched with four maps, with only one of them being great, and the rest of them being, well, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Voyage to Despair sucks. Uh, classified is a verse version of 5, in my opinion. It did fix some issues with 5, but it made it less unique overall. Then we have... What was the last map? Oh, yeah. Blood of the Dead. Again, where they fix some issues of the original Mob of the Dead. Not really. And add a ton more and making it less unique. Like the storing area. And the moving pack-a-punch. Well, like, why, why moving pack-a-punch? Nobody likes moving pack-a-punches. And the storing area, while cool, you never return there. If you're just playing the map, the only time you go back to spawn is either because you were stupid and built something over there, or because... The pack a punch is there. Those are the two reasons. Or if you like get down and get to need to get that perk. But you never return to that area otherwise. But otherwise, yeah, that, that no. And then we have the weird you can only have like one equipment and they nerf the bl the blunder gat and they nerf the tomahawk. And you could only ha since you can only have one equipment, it was like either the tomahawks or monkey bombs, stupid ass thing to do as well. But they all, all overall made zombies easier as well. This honestly, this video is like why I hate Black Ops 4 at this point. Uh, they tried to redesign how perks worked, but that didn't work either. They wanted to get rid of clutch perks, but they only m ended up making other perks. Clutch, uh, crutch perks. Did I say clutch the first time too? I'm stupid. Uh, 
so instead of like using jog and speed cola you had like cl other crutch perks like stamina up became a crutch perk for most maps because they were so goddamn big uh, Winter's Whale, I know, which was pretty much just the new Widow's Wine. They didn't fix anything by doing that. They only made people angry with such a thing. And then they added this thing where you, that they still have, by the way, where you need to pack a punch a weapon several times. And then you also started with... Like, it took four hits to down you in this game. And you start with a specialist weapon. Uh, and you have custom loadouts. Which they still have, and I don't like it. I don't know why they thought these things were good. And also, the 9 easter egg was broken for me. For several weeks. I tried to do that. That it's stupid ass easter egg. And the skull. Uh, that you need to use your specialist weapon at. For it to like drop out. It didn't spawn. And the worst thing about it being bugged. Is that you can't even like ask. The call of duty support. For help with such a thing. Because they're not allowed to speak about the, the easter eggs. Because it can spoil people. So if that shit is bugged and you need help with it. You, there, there's literally nowhere for you to turn. But it was bugged for forever for me. Eventually one time when I tried to do the easter egg that skull did spawn. Which was great. And I did eventually finish that easter egg. But then we have the other maps that released after this. They weren't great either. Like Night of the Dead. Dog shit. Uh, Alpha Omega. Dog shit. And I don't know why they decided that in this game. Just, just unlocking the Pack-A-Punch. Should be a fucking easter egg. Why does that need to be convoluted as hell? Especially with these steps that don't... Like, how are you supposed to find these out? Which Black Ops 4 had a lot of, in my opinion. They had these really weird easter eggs. Like, how do, how do you people... Like, how does any of this make any sense? Black Ops 3 had some of that too, which I won't really get into right now. But anyways, Black Ops 4 is the worst of the worst, in my opinion. Only maybe possibly being outdone by Vanguard. Uh, Modern Warfare 2019 is... Low A for me. Because I loved the multiplayer. The campaign is also really good. But then we have... Actually, a bit higher. It did introduce Warzone as well. Which Warzone was great. Still is kind of great. Not really. But... Yeah. Oh, I've used like all my brain power now. This is a long ass video too. But not surprising. Uh... Oh my god, my brain is breaking. I spoke too much about Black Ops 4. I used up all my brain power. That's stupid of me. But yeah, Modern Warfare 2019. I really enjoy the multiplayer. It's not... It's really not going well now, is it? Stupid pants. Oh, well, damn. That just broke. Uh... But the special ops, I did not enjoy. But overall, it was a good game. I know people love to clown on it. But compared to other games they got after that, I don't know how you could. 
Modern Warfare 2019 was like the last great COD we've gotten. Black Ops 6 might outshine it though. We will just have to wait and see on that, don't we? Uh, Cold War is next. No? What is it? Is it Vanguard after? Yeah, no, it's Vanguard, not Cold War. Vanguard, I'm putting it in F. I mean... I, sp I still probably personally hate Black Ops 4. Not a lot more. But yeah, I, I hate... Per I personally. No, wait, actually. Because while Black Ops 4 does suck, it, least ha it at least had... One great zombies map. While Vanguard, I don't think it had any. Okay, wait. I just thought I was dreaming or something. Uh, But the campaign, forgettable. I don't remember anything of this campaign. And the multiplayer, the only thing I remember from this multiplayer... Is like people getting the nuke thingy or whatever the equivalent was in this game in seconds because of the stupid auto shotty. And then zombies. Do we even really need to talk about Vanguard zombies? We all know why it sucks. We just know. Uh, Black Ops Cold War. The campaign. Uh, Cold War campaign is actually really good. It's probably the best part of the game. The multiplayer was not great. I did play it quite a lot. Nowhere near Black Ops 3 or Modern Warfare. But quite a lot. It wasn't horrible. Then we have... Oh yeah, another re thing I didn't even talk about Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4. I just remembered. I should probably take it out. Blackout. That shit was trash. It was, re it was really trash. Especially the beginning. I don't think people remember just... At least not some people remember just how horribly broken the, the stupid armor system was like right when it released. I don't know when they fixed it, but it made me stop playing it. Basically, if you were lucky enough to get a tier 3 armor of the drop, you were literally invincible. There were videos of people putting entire full out of shotgun mags into somebody's back. <coughs> Sorry. And... Them and not like and them their armor not even breaking, which made it like what? That should not be a thing. And I remember this very well. Like if you were not lucky to get a tier three armor, you were just screwed. So actually, is it worse? Yeah, it's probably worse. Thanks to that. Stupid memory. Uh, anyways, back to Cold War, as I was saying. Uh, the zombies was better than Black Ops 4 zombies, in my opinion. But, like... Barely. They redid a lot of the bad with Black Ops 4. At the same time, they introduced some other bad systems that I'm not still not a huge fan of. And I think they're do, doing this really stupid thing with zombies where every iteration of Black Ops Zombies, they just make it easier. It gets easier and easier, and therefore they have to find stupid ways to make it pretty much artificially more difficult. Like, there's just an, so much boss zombies that spawn, and it's not even new boss zombies in the in Black Ops 6. It's the same ones from Cold War. Like at least come up with new shit. 
Like, we have some new stuff, like those stupid insect thingies. But that's barely... that's not enough. So nowadays, it's turned to pretty much make kill streaks thingy. It's really dumb. Uh, where would I place this? Probably C. Yeah, C sounds good. Then we have Modern Warfare 2. Worse in every way. From Modern Warfare 3. No, Modern Warfare 2019. Is what I was trying to say. It's the multiplayer is worse. The campaign was worse. Although, well, no, actually, the campaign was pretty good in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, and there wasn't even special ops in Modern Warfare 2, was there? It's just Battle Royale. So it doesn't even have a third game mode, does it? At least I don't remember that. I don't play it a ton. Uh, but yeah, it goes down in D. It's probably... I probably prefer to play it over Ds, at least the multiplayer. And then we have Modern Warfare 3, which is somehow... Uh, somehow? Okay. Uh, which is somehow worse than Modern Warfare 2. Again, like, how could you downgrade it even further? The campaign, we already know everything about that campaign. It's so... Bad. Uh, note to the Call of Duty developers. Stop with the open world shit. It's not good. I hate it in Black Ops 6. I hate it in Modern Warfare 3. Stop it. Stop it. It sucks. It's genuinely horrible. Stop it. Uh, let's see, then we also have the multiplayer, which again, just straight up worse than Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. And then the third mode, zombies, open world zombies. How, I still don't know, how could you fuck that up? How could you fuck that up? I don't understand. People have been wanting Modern Warfare zombies. Since Black Ops motherfucking won. How could you fuck that up? I don't understand. People were hoping Modern Warfare 3 would have zombies. I remember. Of course they didn't get that. People thought maybe in the future. And when they announced that Modern Warfare 3... 2023 would have zombies. I was like, oh my god, finally. It's open world zombies. Why? 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 Outbreak flopped. Why are you trying open world zombies again? That does not make sense to me. It, it does not make sense to me. And it's not like it was a long time after they tried to do another. And of course, that sucked. Like, I know, ju I know YouTubers that play pretty much anything with their friends because they have fun with their friends. And there's one specifically that I'm thinking of that only played it once because it was that boring. And it really was. I don't understand what they thought, thought what, uh, to do, why they thought that was a good idea. I really don't. Modern Warfare 3 is like here.
I'd rather play pretty much any of these over Modern Warfare 3, which is a lot like I'd rather play Ghost than Modern Warfare 3. And I don't like ghosts. Not one bit. Oh yeah, I just remembered one more thing. Never create the IEDs from ghosts again. That was a horrible decision. Things that are barely visible that just explode and absolutely 100% will murder you every time you step near one. That was a stupid idea. But yeah, this is my tier list. I know this is a tier list that most people will not agree with. Also, this video is pretty much an hour long. Holy shit. I was not considering that even being a possibility. Probably because I spent like 10 plus minutes talking about why I hate Black Ops 4. Probably closer to 50 minutes. I spent way too long talking about that game, to be fair. But yeah, this is my tier list. This is my, these are my opinions. Roast me if you want. I know I will probably get roasts from some people. Uh, you're allowed, of course, to tell me wh what, what points you disagree with, with different games, and so on. But th this is mine. Which means that we are at the ending. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll eat you next time.